Hi, this is Jim Rossman with the Dallas Morning News, and today we are looking at Apple's new iPad Pro. This is Apple's King Daddy iPad. This is a 12.9 inch iPad. Uh, for you keeping score at home, the original iPad was a 9.7 inch screen. This is a 12.9 inch screen. So this is on par with 13 inch laptops. I've kind of been going at this from the standpoint of, can this replace my laptop? Which is kind of what I ask myself every time I try a new iPad. And it's getting closer and closer to yes. Uh, for me, especially because Apple's come out with a new way of connecting peripherals. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a three button little connector on the long edge, which corresponds really nicely and it's magnetic with Apple's new smart keyboard. This is a $169 accessory, protects the iPad and also is a really comfortable typing surface. I found it really easy to type on this. I typed my whole review this week on the, the smart um, keyboard cover and it was fantastic. Um, Apple also has with this guy a, a new screen. It's got um, twice as many um, touch surfaces and it's twice as fast and they've released a pencil, which something Steve Jobs said that, um, that they'd never do. But um, in the post Steve Jobs era, Apple has released a pencil. This is a $99 add-on. And if you are a drawer, a sketcher, a, an artist, this is fantastic. Along with the uh, Apple Pencil, um, there are a crop of new drawing apps now specifically for the iPad and the iPad Pro. Um, I downloaded one called Drawing Desk that uh, while I am no artist, will show you the kind of things that you can do. There's a watercolor, there is pressure sensitive. If I can draw really light or really heavy. Um, so the pencil is something that I think artists are really gonna take a hold of. So one of the key features for iOS 9, if you have enough hardware to do it, is um, the split view multitasking. Split view multitasking enables you to swipe in from the side and see a second app on the screen at the same time. And if the apps have been optimized, you can use the, your finger to slide and give each app as much room on the screen as you'd like. And to change the app, uh, that's the second one that comes up, you swipe down from the top and you can choose anything you'd like. If you'd like to write on one side and have um, Safari up on the other, it's very handy. Another new feature in iOS 9 is picture-in-picture. Uh, picture. If you've got a video running, you can choose to put it down small. You can get out of this and you can actually have the video up and running while you're doing other things. You could resize it, you can move it around, you could turn it, and you can just have a movie playing in the background while you're um, surfing the internet or writing your review. So the iPad Pro comes in two sizes, 32 gigabytes of storage or 128. 32 gigabytes starts at $799. This is not an inexpensive iPad. The 128 gig version starts at 949. And in that top end version, there is a version with um, cellular so that you could um, have your data built in for $1,079. So by the time you add up the iPad Pro, the keyboard, and the pencil, you're talking about $1,350 out the door. That's a lot of money. That's an iPad. That's a, a MacBook Air. That's serious laptop money. That's a couple of laptops if you're in the PC world. Um, is it worth it? I think it is. This is the nicest, biggest screen Apple's ever produced on an iOS device. Um, there are four stereo speakers. There's um, two on either side. And in looking at the Apple video, there's, there's a lot of room inside this iPad. And they've, they've actually made the speaker chambers bigger so that you're getting a lot of nice sound. So watching movies on this thing is a really pretty nice experience. Um, one thing I'd, I'd, I've come to appreciate on the bigger screen is consuming. So reading, I subscribe to Time Magazine. Time Magazine looks great on the iPad Pro. The Dallas Morning News' E-Edition app looks great on the iPad Pro. There's, it's really easy to read. Um, it's very clear. I do find it, it's a little bit heavy. Um, I found it, it's a lot more comfortable to hold it horizontally as opposed to vertically because it, it just, it seems almost a little heavy in my hand, in my lap. Um, I, just to give you some size comparison, my iPad that I use personally is an iPad mini. And um, you know, the, the mini can hide behind the iPad Pro. 
Um, so this is a 7.9 inch screen. This is a 12.9 inch screen. It's a huge difference. I think my mini's gonna actually be retired. Um, so iPad Pro is available now. Uh, the pencil has just become available. It's been kind of in short supply. Uh, there are some third party keyboard cases already. I know Logitech has one that is backlit that, that the Apple's letting third parties take advantage of the little um, accessory connector. And because of the accessory connector, you don't have to charge the keyboards. They, they're, you know, they just connect, they get their power from the iPad. And um, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.